everybody. Um, hello, my name is Sunny Wynn. And this year, I turned 20 years old, just like Capital City Pride itself. So imagine my pleasant surprise when I was told that this year, Capital City Pride would be celebrating 20 years of me. <laughs> 20 years ago in 1991, I was busy just being born. Meanwhile, three same-sex couples applied for marriage licenses in Hawaii, sparking what would, what would eventually become the gay marriage fight that we are still fighting today. This was the setting in which the first Capital City Pride took place. 1993, I was still learning how to speak with the lisp when Don't Ask, Don't Tell was implemented and Brandon Tina was taken from us. Still, Olympia's community stood together for the third time, showing unwavering support for each other. By 1998, I had my first boyfriend. We were boyfriends in that we would hold hands sometimes and he would buy me ice cream every week. <laughs> Much like my boyfriend now. Um, Capital City Pride and I both celebrated our seventh birthdays that year. That year would also be the year that we would see the loss of Matthew Shepard. Skip forward to 2004, where at 13 years old, I decide to come out of the closet. My friends and my family supported me unyieldingly. My mom cried, telling me that she loved me so much and she was afraid about how cruel the world was going to be to me. My friends had mixed reactions, some of them shocked, some excited. One person telling me that he didn't know I wasn't out of the closet yet. But I was 13 years old. For people closer to my age, 13 years old sounds like an appropriate time to come out of the closet. You know, shortly after your first contact with the Beyonce music video. <laughs> but 20 years ago, that short story would have been a rare tearjerker that would have ended up as an episode of MTV's True Life. Moving along to 2010, where after a year off before college, where I spent equal time working social activism and equal time engaging in crazy young debauchery, I decided it was time for college and I moved to Olympia. That was the first time that I was surrounded by more queers than people of color. And it opened up to me this new part of my identity and new parts of my community that I didn't know existed. As I learned more about people like me, I learned more how to be grateful. Today is June 11th, 2011. 20 years ago, I wouldn't have half the resources that I have access to today. 20 years ago, a 13-year-old wouldn't even consider coming out as a possibility. 20 years ago, HIV was still a death sentence. And 20 years ago, marriage equality was still a hint of a dream for so many people. But 20 years ago, people were organizing. Among other things, they organized pride festivals in small capital cities like this one to support, embrace, and celebrate each other. So that today, there are queer shelves in my libraries and queer offices in my college. Today, there are kids who have spent their entire lives out of the closet. Today, HIV positive folks are living long, healthy lives, and the government is waking up to the fact that our love is just as valid as anyone else's. But changes like that didn't just happen. Changes like that were brought on by hardworking individuals who spent their lives dedicated to the cause. So this year, Capital City Pride is celebrating 20 years of you. And so for people like me, who barely have or don't even have 20 years of us to celebrate, I wanted to take the time out to celebrate our elders, the people who came before us. I wasn't there, but I know it was a difficult journey from just 20 years ago until today. People are lost on the way, and we should remember them. And we should thank the people who are here with us today. The warriors and survivors who paved the way so that pride not only as a festival, but as a concept could survive and make it this far. So thank all of you for being here, and thank all of us for being together. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Sunny Wynn. Thank you, my friend. Great job.